The sliding azimuth area calculation method allows me to subdivide a lot given a known distance and some existing points in line work. What I'd like to do here is subdivide this small lot so that we create a smaller sub lot on the west side of the original lot and we want to leave room for the house. We always have to draw a closed figure before we can compute an area. So because I want to create a lot where the lot line is parallel to the direction from point 103 to 101, I'm going to define the lot uh, by uh, creating a line starting at point 101. So what we'll do first is go into line work and we're going to create a new figure manually. I'll pick on the description LL and we'll create a figure called LL3. When I go back to the smaller size, you'll find that I can pick on LL3 and I can edit it. And let's add some points to that line. So I'll start at 101, 100, 103, 102, and then we'll close it. Now I can access area calculation now that I've created this. I can either go to the area calculations Kogo button here, or I can actually pick the figure and go straight into area calculation. It allows me to select or select the figure if I haven't uh, already, but you can see now that it's uh, plotted in red, and it reports that the area is 772 square meters. Uh, first thing that I'll want to do is I'll go down below here and I'll define the direction. I'd like to inverse between point 103 and 100, so I can just type those values in. And it inverses and computes the area. Oh, that looks like the wrong value. I have typed in the wrong thing. 103 to 100. check that, then uh, now we can see that it's inversed and accurate direction. And what I'd like to do is uh, compute a 250 square meter lot, and as soon as I type that in, you can see that it's predicting where the two new points are going to be created. If I wanted to, I can try a different value. When we're satisfied that that's where we want to create our two new points, and I'll close my keyboard. Um, one thing that I can do is I can check on swap area if I just want to change the area that's highlighted. That doesn't change the value of the areas. And when we're all finished, we pick on store, and that's going to create some new lines and a new figure. See where the new lot line is there. I'll close the area calculation dialog and we can see that it's created points 1008 and 1007. Thanks for watching this video.